Hello students, welcome again. Students, in our previous video lectures, we discussed some important romantic poets like Keats, Shelley, Wordsworth and Coleridge. But during this period of romantic revival, we have some great novelists like Jane Austen and Walter Scott whom we should study. So in today's video lecture, let's now start the discussion of Jane Austen's contribution to the development of English fiction or English novel during the 19th century. In today's lecture, we will examine Jane Austen as a supreme artist, his, her feminism, her realism, humor and satire, her art of plot construction and art of characterization. So now let's begin. You see, as you can see on the screen, Jane Austen was born in 1775 and died in 1817. So she was living during the period of Romanticism, during the period of Romantic Revival. Okay, she occupies a very important place as a woman novelist of the 19th century. Okay, why? Because you know, she, her novels are full of feminism, her novels reflect realism, her novels reflect her art of characterization, her art of plot construction, which make we, all these things make Jane Austen as a supreme artist. All in all, you know, she has written six novels. As you can see on this screen, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Emma, Nothanger Abbey, and Persuasion. All these novels are published from 1811 to 1817. Now the question is, why do the critics consider Jane Austen as a perfect artist? If I take this quote from a very important critique, W. L. Cross, then Cross says that Jane Austen is one of the sincerest examples in our literature of art for art's sake. So according to Cross, her novels, you know, they do not deal with any moralism. You know, her novels do not teach any moral lessons to the society. Her novels, uh, unlike Charles Dickens, uh, do not aim at social reform in England. She is a pure artist and she is a su supreme artist. Why? Because, you know, she has the habit of writing and rewriting, of casting and recasting her material before giving the final uh, draft, before writing the final draft of her novels. She believes in perfection in both form and presentation. And that is the reason why, you know, she is considered as a perfect artist, as a supreme artist. Uh, you read these lines by S. D. Nil. S. D. Nil said that, it is not therefore surprising that the final versions of her novels have a formal perfection. There are no loose ends, no paddlings, no characterization of its own sake. All characters which are presented, even the major and the minor characters, all have their importance in the novel, in the action and flawlessly consistent idiom. That means here the critic Neil is talking about the language, okay, uh, the diction of uh, Jane Austen. Everything is perfectly suitable to the art of writing novels and that is the reason why, you know, Jane Austen has been considered as a perfect artist as a perfect novelist. Another important thing to note about her novels is that she is having a limited range of themes, of subject matters in her novels. 
actually you know she has written only six novels so that's the reason why we do not have a wide variety of themes in her novels but uh, jane austen uh, herself was an introvert kind of a lady and that's why she did not roam much she did not go outside of some limited area and that's why you know many historians consider jane austen as a regional novelist just like uh, thomas hardy okay uh, jane austen takes material uh, not from everywhere she takes the material for her novel from her own life and that's why you know in her in her novels what do we see in her novels we see the life of the british people living in south england only okay so that is the limited area uh, on which uh, jane austen has written her novels okay in her novels you find uh, uh, love you find marriage you find family parents and children nothing more than that and that's the reason why you know she has been also considered as a feminist writer as a family writer another important feature of all her novels is her feminism okay so i hope you know feminism i have already uploaded another separate video on feminism feminism means what feminism talks about the equality between men and women and jane austen i tell you during the 19th century is considered as an important feminist writer of english literature why because all through her novels you know uh, the inequality faced by women uh, this idea has been here and there presented by jane austen in her novels it is observed that two men are never found together in her novels mostly uh, when we read the novels ladies or female characters are uh, uh, are present in the actions in the scenes okay the stories of all the events are told from a woman's point of view not from from a man's point of view why because she herself was a woman okay uh, while her novels show about unhappy marriages like one character you find in pride and prejudice where there is a character called banet okay uh, still you know uh, jane austen is found to be very optimistic uh, why because she suggests that it may be possible to find equality inside marriage this suggestion has been presented by jane austen in her novels okay moreover her feminism you can find where find in the heroines uh, created by jane austen because these heroines are mostly independent characters okay and uh, they live independently in the male dominated society in her novel uh, in her novels we find that she expresses the feminist feelings of uh, her own times during the 19th century and that is why you know we consider him as a feminist like her characters like elinor dashwood her characters like elizabeth bennet her characters like anne elliot all are the ideal women characters who can contribute to the society as a whole okay so that is the reason why you know she has been hailed she has been acclaimed as an important feminist author of english novels jane austen's novels are also popular for the element of realism humor and satire you know you mark these words of lucas lucas said about this about realism in her novels she said that she was a realist jane austen was a realist she gave a new to the novel means uh, lucas wants to say that jane austen has given a new form a new shape to the english novel an art and style which once had had particularly in england uh, she jane austen gave the form and shape and style 
which was found in the times of Henry Fielding. Think about 18th century, years back, about 100 years, more than 100 years back, this was there. But then, since then, after Henry Fielding, it was lost in English novels, which was revived by Jane Austen in her novels, The Element of Realism. Element of realism in her novels, we can say, why? Because, you know, mostly the life which is presented by this novelist in her novels is the life of the middle class people. Okay, the novels, mostly her novels revolve around the stories of families, friends, parents, children, okay, love and marriage. These are some common stories uh, realistically presented by Jane Austen and that is the reason why the American writer Henry Longfellow said that uh, Jane Austen's novels are a capital picture of the real life. Okay. So, most of the historians and critics believe that she is a writer of realism. Moreover, we also find the element of satire, irony and humor in her novels. But important thing about Jane Austen is that though she tries to expose the wrong manners and customs and uh, drawbacks of the uh, social circle, but at the same time her attitude is not so much harsh. Okay, she is very tender uh, and gentle in her humor. She creates humor, she creates laughter in the novels, but her laughter is not harmful and that is the mark of a great artist. Another important feature to note about Jane Austen is her art of characterization. Friends, remember uh, uh, George Bernard Shaw. Try to remember the plays written by Christopher Marlowe, William Shakespeare and other such great writers. Why they have become so much great? They have become so much great because of their memorable characters. Like Shakespeare is known for Hamlet, Macbeth, King Lear, Othello. You know, we respect Shakespeare as a great dramatist because he has created such great characters. In the same manner, we remember Jane Austen because she possesses this great art of characterization. She has been considered as, a, as an artist, as a supreme artist because of her art of characterizations. Okay, she creates living characters, memorable characters. Okay, all virtues and vices of the real human beings are presented realistically by her, by Jane Austen in her novels. Important thing is that if you compare the male characters and the female characters, then one, uh, then one thing we find is that her male characters are more touching, are more universal in comparison to her male characters. Like the ca her male characters, memorable characters like Darcy, Elizabeth, Emma and all uh, such characters are very popular, memorable characters of English literature during the 19th century. The last important point to note about Jane Austen's uh, uh, quality as an artist, as a novelist is her art of plot construction. Okay? Her novels have a proper structure, proper symmetry and form and her plots are not simple plots. She has drawn all actions in a compound, in the compound plots. And remember Aristotle, Aristotle said that the compound plot or the complex plots are the ideal kinds of plots for the drama. And the same thing applies to novels also. Okay, the, in, in her stories, in Jane, uh, Jane Austen's novels, you know the stories are constructed in a perfect manner. Each uh, unity of time, place and action are properly followed by her. And uh, if I use the words of W.L. Cross again, 
then he says that emma and pride and prejudice are as logically constructed as a detective story just like in a detective story everything is constructed in a well organized manner in the same manner you know jane austen has done this in her two novels emma and pride and prejudice okay uh, yet they give us all a sense sense of spontaneous life we get from a play of chekhov here uh, cross has compared jane austen with anton chekhov the short story writer the detective short story writer uh, uh, both in both the cases in the case case of chekhov in the case of jane austen we find proper plot construction according to w l cross so here we come to the end but before we move uh, let me quote these three lines spoken by helena kelly helena kelly says that 200 years on her work is astonishingly popular even after the death of jane austen after these many 200 years you know she is still astonishingly a popular writer of the 19th century and it is difficult to think of any other novelist who could be compared with her so according to helly uh, sorry according to helena kelly you cannot even compare jane austen with any other novelist all through these 200 years okay this is another quote uh, said by kelly but let me conclude by saying that uh, she has realistically painted the southern english life and manners and she is known for this realism she is known for her feminism she is known for her memorable characters and she has been respected by the historians and critics because of her great art of characterization and great plot construction so here we come to the end if you have any questions do write to me in the comment section of this channel and please do let me know whether you liked this video or not so that i can improve myself thank you very much thank you for watching